Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another Sideshow Collectibles 1 6 scale figure unboxing and review video. Now today we're taking a look at another X-Men figure in his classic 90s attire, being of course Cyclops. I'm really excited about this one. I've seen this figure in person before at various shows and also in a couple of stores and I fell in love with the super punchy vibrant look of the outfit and also how classic it is. It's super close in design to the 90s animated series and I grew up watching it. So yeah, I absolutely had to pick this guy up. Now there is gonna be more Sideshow comic book style stuff coming up very soon on the channel. It's gonna be some Avengers content. So if you do wanna see that, why not hit that subscribe and bell notification icon so you're notified as soon as they go live on the channel. If this guy is still in stock with Sideshow, I will include the link down in the description below. What we are gonna do now though is get the box laying flat in the light box and do the unboxing. And here of course we have the box art for Cyclops. I apologize because this box is super bright, but yeah, it's a yellow picture of the actual figure himself with a couple of red accents. You do have a little bit of comic book artwork on the sides and another really awesome image of Cyclops on the back. However, in my opinion, the best part about these boxes is all of the artwork around the edges. You get a bunch of images and comic book panels of Cyclops in the various costumes that he's worn throughout the years. But that's not all, if you take out the top layer, you get even more beautiful artwork on the inside. Honestly, this might be one of my favorite box art pieces from Sideshow. I love all the various panels of Cyclops here. But of course, we're not really here to discuss the box itself. We're more here to take a look at Cyclops. And of course, here we have him. Now there is actually two different versions of Cyclops from Sideshow. There's this one in the classic 90s style, but there's also the astonishing X-Men variant. I will try and pick that up and review it on the channel. If that's something you'd like to see, let me know down in the comments below. But here we have Cyclops, and yeah, first impressions are really darn positive. I'm loving the really vibrant look of the suit. Now as you can see, he comes with two trays, so what we are gonna do now is get all of Cyclops' accessories out here and take a closer look at everything he comes with. And here we have everything that comes with Cyclops. Let's start off by taking a look at the display base first. It's relatively simple. It's literally the Sideshow hexagonal style display base with a regular crotch grabber. Unfortunately, no print once again. It's weird how they decide sometimes to do one, sometimes not to. I wish they just go all out or even simply print the classic X-Men logo across the top. Not really asking for too much, I don't think. Now he does come with one interchangeable outfit accessory being this beautiful tan leather style jacket. It is made out of pleather, so yes, potentially sometime down the line, many years from now, it could flake. But for now, it feels really sturdy, and I really like the way it looks. Of course, you already saw this on the figure about five seconds ago in the unboxing segment, but you will see it on the figure again a little bit later in the video. Now, it does come with, of course, a couple of hands. They are all unique sculpts, and they do have their own individual wrist pegs on the inside. I love the way they're sculpted all the way down to a teeny tiny little X logo on the inside of the palm there. That's a rather nice attention to detail, and I also like the subtle wash in the crevices. You also have this cuff around the edge that will actually go around the edge of his outfit and it tucks in to create a more seamless look. Now you also get this blast effect piece. I love this. This is beautiful. I'm so glad they decided to do this. They could have easily not, but this is Cyclops. You have to give him something like this, and I'm so very glad they did. I will 110% be displaying my Cyclops with this visor piece. Now, if you get the exclusive version of Cyclops, you get another visor just with a subtle red flame coming out the side to make it look like he's just used his optic blast. Unfortunately, though, I wasn't able to get that one, but I'm more than happy with this array of accessories. What we are going to do now, though, is get Cyclops himself out here and take... A closer look. And here we have him standing straight up and down in the light box, no crazy poses or accessories or anything like that. And hot damn, if that isn't pretty much 90 Cyclops done 
to perfection in one six scale, it's almost 100% translated from TV show to figure format, and I love the way they've done that. He does have a couple of things which, yeah, we do need to discuss, but overall, the choice of body, the outfit, the head sculpt, it's all on point. And then, when we get to the additional outfit options and the optic blast, it just sets this thing over the top. It might just be my favourite X-Men figure to date that we've reviewed from Sideshow. And this is the latest one, so that means they are getting better and better. So fingers crossed that Gambit, when he eventually comes out, is the best so far. And again, I am a little bit biased, because Cyclops is one of my favourite X-Men characters. But to say that I prefer him more than the Wolverine who is my favourite character, kind of goes to show how much I'm liking this figure. What we are going to do now though is take him off the rotating turntable, punch in and take a closer look at the details. And here we have him up close and personal. And yeah, I'm really loving the way Cyclops looks in hand. It probably is my favourite of the bunch in terms of the X-Men figures Sideshow have released to date. It's just so classic and comic book accurate. Now let's talk about the head sculpt first. I really like the way it looks. I like the messy mop style hair coming out the top and the blue mask that really nicely matches the blue on the suit. Obviously, you can see there is a texture difference between the suited neck and also the bare plastic head, but the colour match is on point, and from a distance, it looks perfectly fine. As for the mouth, it does look a little bit thin and gaunt, but I think that's due to the blue of the suit coming around the edges. He also looks a little bit bored, but he can also look a little bit stoic depending on the pose, have him looking up to the side, and I think that works quite nicely for Cyclops. You can also see a nice translucent red for the visor. Unfortunately, that doesn't light up, but you can remove it and swap it out with the blast effect. If you do just take it off though and have him on display like that, you'll be in for a horrifying sight as you just saw. Overall though, I'm really liking that head sculpt. Now as for this harness strap belt apparatus, I really like the way it looks. Technically in the show, this was like a communicator style device and it's painted in a nice metallic red and black. And then the yellow sections quite nicely match the yellow of the material. It's not a perfect colour match, mind you, but it's close enough for me. You can also see a nice wash on the inside and all the detail of stitching on the pouches there. It can sometimes move out of place. It's glued onto these underoos, so technically you can just move the underoos if you would like to have the belt in a certain position. Now as for the blue sections, he does once again have the panel lines, which I've been kind of on and off complaining about with the other X-Men figures. It's not a huge issue by any means, and it's far less egregious here on Cyclops. That could be why this guy is potentially my favourite so far in the line. Now as you can see, the suit material comes down to the gloves, and that cuff really nicely hides that seam around the edge there. Technically, yes, it can come up and create a little bit of a gap, but when you pull it down, it really nicely hides it. Also, I'm not sure if you can make out, but there is a lot of vein work underneath the suit that really nicely gets sort of pulled through because the suit is really tight on the body. I really like that detail. Now coming down to the legs, you do have these thigh bracer pieces which are glued to the suit so they shouldn't really move around when you're articulating the figure. And of course, lastly, down here at the boots, some super classic 90s goodness with vibrant yellow boots and of course an X detail on the bottom of the shoe. Overall though, yeah, this guy's my favourite so far. I love the way he looks, I love the colour scheme, the head sculpt is on point, and overall, he's just a really strong release. Just quickly before we move on, I wanted to show you what Cyclops looks like wearing the jacket and with his optic blast attachment on there. You will see this stuff again at the conclusion of the video, but look how awesome that looks. I love the way they've done this. It's very simple, but very, very dynamic. This, in my opinion, is the perfect effect piece to give Cyclops. He also comes with this stunning tan leather jacket. It fits the body really nicely. 
and technically you could give this to a bunch of other classic X-Men characters, it's not just limited to Cyclops here, and I really like that. Technically, Wolverine has worn stuff like this in the past, even the character Morph in the 90s show wore a jacket very similar to this. I'm really impressed though with both the jacket and the effect piece. Now for our quick side-by-side -side comparison with the three X-Men characters that I've picked up so far from Sideshow. These three look stunning together. I am so very glad I decided to get into this line. It's classic 90s X-Men through and through, and these three look beautiful each in their own right, but standing together even more so. I cannot wait to pick up even more Sideshow X-Men figures. I'm probably going to go back and pick up the original version of Wolverine, and of course Gambit will be coming out hopefully relatively soon, so expect a review for him on the channel. But yeah, so far, these three look really darn awesome on the shelf. Just going over articulation. Now bear in mind, this is my personal copy of the figure, so I'm going to be a little bit more careful. I'm sure when you get yours in hand, you can push the joints slightly further than I'm willing to go. Also, if he is wearing the jacket, his arm articulation will be a lot more restricted, so do bear that in mind. The head sculpt does get a fairly decent range of motion in pretty much all directions. The arms themselves go up to about there, they will go forward the full way, and there is a butterfly joint up there as well, plus a swivel at the bicep. You do have a double bend at the elbow, and a regular 1-6 scale style joint, for the wrist. As for the torso, you do have a crunch, swivel, and pivot forward and back. However, the nature of this belt harness apparatus thing will limit that articulation just a little bit. The legs go forward the full way, same thing with going out on ratchets, swivel at the thigh, double bend here at the knee, which is incredibly stiff, and of course a regular 1-6 scale style ball joint for the ankle. Just wrapping up on the comic version of Cyclops by Sideshow. Now, going into this, I was already really excited because I have the Wolverine and I have the Magneto, and I love those two figures. But hands down, this is my favourite, and it's not even my favourite X-Men character. He's only my second favourite, so yeah, kind of, he was already up there. But no, the figure is really just that darn good. I love the outfit. The colours are perfect. Finally, in my opinion, they've cracked it. With the Wolverine, the yellow was a tiny bit muted, and the blue was a little bit dark. But they've thrown all their eggs into the 90s Jim Lee-style basket, and I think they've nailed it here. Super vibrant yellow and blue, and it translates perfectly into 1-6 scale. This, in my opinion, is Sideshow's first X-Men home run, and I'm hoping they keep this line going, because with figures like this out there, people deserve to have even more X-Men goodness in their collection. If you're an X-Men fan, especially the 90s show, and you don't have this figure, do yourself the favour and pick him up. If you're on the fence, get off the damn fence. He is that darn good. Don't wait until he's no longer available anywhere, because yeah, he's well worth it. Now, I will be trying to pick up the Astonishing X-Men variant and review that on the channel sometime in the near future but I don't think it's going to top this one for me because I think he's pretty much perfect. Now, if he is still available from Sideshow, I will include the link down in the description below. Also, while you are down there, why not check out the link to Six Scale Network, the awesome Facebook group. Come along, chat figures, share photos of your collection, and of course, see what's coming up next on the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.